show with local rock star realtor Michelle Cummins and myself, Curtis Pope. Now, I know we got some uh, some real estate news and one of my favorite uh, things we do and what's trending. So what do you got, Michelle? Okay, so rental market is heating up and cost of rent are going up due to people not being able to afford or get back into the market if they sell before acquiring a property. I mean, I guess this isn't new news. It's been happening for a while now. Uh, but the rental market just continues rising, continue and continues to rise. So uh, that is still what's happening, still news. Uh, and uh, Toronto and Vancouver real estate is now much less affordable than L.A. and New York. So, I mean, who, who would have figured that? Can you believe it? <laughs> no, I know, but you know it's uh, you know it's it's it, this has been an ongoing problem, like you say, like you know you the re, and, and also trying to find a place to rent is almost impossible. Uh, yes, I mean as soon as I hear of a place, it's it's taken like that. It's crazy, uh, and um, yeah. So Toronto uh, or Vancouver real estate is too expensive for your budget. If it is, I mean, it is for most people. Uh, maybe you can try a more affordable city, you know, like New York or Los Angeles. I mean, <laughs> crazy. I never um, thought I'd hear that New York City was more affordable than Vancouver. Uh-huh. I know. Me either. Uh, Oxford uh, economist um, uh, data shows that Toronto is the least affordable city in North America. And Vancouver isn't too far behind Toronto, winning the title of the third least affordable city. Uh, Montreal wasn't in the top 10, but it tied with cities like New York and Miami for affordability. Uh, prices are forecast near its plateau, but affordability will get worse as rates rise. And let's talk about the mortgage rates. So mortgage rates are set to climb. Now, we talked about this last week a little bit. I believe it was last week. The Bank of Canada will be forced to hike in early or mid next year. And, uh, sorry, somebody was just trying to call me. Well, you know, <laughs> they want to buy a house or they want to rent a house and they, or they've heard what you're saying and they're going, how do I get into the market? <laughs> that was Christine Allen, actually. I'll have to call her back. <laughs> uh realtor um, in my office. So one of Canada's largest financial institutions sees the Bank of Canada uh, forced to hike rates. And uh, the forecast shows as interest rate hike of 25 basis points, which is typical of when they do start rising them. They do kind of uh, raise them by that amount. Uh, so that's set to happen most likely July of next year, July 2022. So be prepared. Uh, another hike is expected to follow before the end of next year as well. Uh, this is this is triple the current interest rate and a quarter sooner than forecast last month because we all thought because they promised not to raise it till 2023. Uh, but uh, as we kind of figured and, and talked about last week, it, it looks like it was changing. So the reason is due to inflation, which is increasingly looking less. Uh, transitory. Uh, and then some more news. The world has millions of vacant homes and 1.3 million are in Canada. That might seem a lot, but it's not as much as in the States. <laughs> so the data shows 1.34 million vacant homes in Canada, the fifth highest for advanced uh, economies. But the U.S. topped the list with 15.55 million. So over 15 million homes. Um, that's one in 12 homes sitting vacant, if you look at it that way. That's crazy. It does make uh, sense when you hear stories about Detroit that, you know, have large sections of the city that are basically abandoned. And, you know, then some of the uh, you know problems with the housing fallout from a few years ago when the prices crashed and there's, you know, communities in Nevada that hardly anybody lives in and you almost have ghost towns. So it does kind of make sense, mm-hmm. even though it's still a stunning number. It is. Crazy. Uh, in Japan, notorious for its vacant home problem, had the highest rate with one in every seven homes sitting empty. Wow. Hi- yeah. Higher interest rates or property taxes can literally create years of housing supply. I mean, that's, yeah. Uh, oh, I wanted to mention, I, I mean, you can't see, Curtis, but um, I, I hope you're videotaping yourself again today. Oh, yeah, because I love being on camera. Oh, I hope you are. <laughs> I do everything I can to avoid being on camera. That's why I got into radio, Michelle. 
okay, but since we started doing this, the, the YouTubes are fantastic. It's so fun having you on them. But yeah, I've got, fun. I've got the flowers behind me, um, which you can see when we upload this on YouTube next week. But they're gorgeous, and they're personally made for me by Sandy, the owner of Holly Tree Florist and Gifts in Agassiz. And she's such a designer, and she does such a beautiful job. She services all uh, my orders from my clients who list with me. I love giving flowers, especially designed by amazing um, artists, uh, florists like like Sandy. And for for listing, I'm like, well, thank you so much. And everyone loves fresh flowers. It makes you feel good. It makes you happy. And who doesn't want their clients to be happy? So, <laughs> and um, here she made nice ones for me uh, today. So I'm very thankful for the flowers. They're beautiful. Uh, but yeah, okay, on to more news. Um, and uh, the world um, is, is always changing. Life is always changing. Uh, don't expect it to stay stagnant because it never does. Um, oh, I wanted to mention, too, I've got the real estate uh, referral partners in Texas talking about empty homes and, and uh, stuff, but not, not saying Texas has a lot of empty homes, but talking in the U.S., uh, and born and raised, as you know, in the U.S., but Texas, I love Texas. I just love that state. It's one of my one of my favorite states. And my referral partners uh, are out of Magnolia Realty there, and that is Chip and Joanna Gaines' franchise, as you know. As I know, we're still trying to get them on the show one of these days. It'll happen. It'll happen. Um, <laughs> Uh, Ron Brown, a realtor with Magnolia out of Fort Worth, uh, says the median sales price of properties there are at 273000 That's the median sales price. Can you believe that? Wow. That, I mean, you can't get, get a condo here for that. No, uh-huh. what's the problem? You watch these HGTV shows sometimes, and you see the prices, and and uh, and their show is one of the examples too. Where I'm like, that's all it costs, because depending on where you are in the states and 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 which city you're in, yeah, it can be a lot more affordable there. Uh, yes, and uh, I, I I the other day I heard it on Instagram, Caitlin Cates, which is a realtor out of the uh, uh, Waco, Texas. Uh, franchise. That's where the silos are. Um, and they, she just listed this lot. It's gorgeous land. It's over 11 acres on the Aquila Creek. And it's only priced at 274000 It's over 11 acres. You can fish and kayak on the, the lake is long. It, I mean, sorry, the creek is long. It goes to the lake. Um, north of Waco, and you could build horse barns. Oh, I just imagine white fence, beautiful property with a, a white farmer style designed house, like rancher house. Oh, I mean, if you want to retire there one day or have a, I don't know, a, a winter getaway or anything, I just, it was gorgeous. You see, it's I, funny I, because you're thinking about this along an equestrian line and things like that that you would do with it. And my mind went right to your husband building an amazing recording studio on the property. Okay, he can have that, too, if I have my nice barn with chandeliers. <laughs> but I don't know why my mind went right there. I'm like, man, the recording studio Richard could build. Uh, that Yeah, that would be so beautiful. I already see it right now with whitewashed walls. And, you know, I would, of course, do it my style, but he could have his style, too. <laughs> you can make it look like the Yellowstone Ranch, but smaller. Oh, by the way, I haven't been. I have not watched one of the Yellowstone shows yet. You're going to have to catch up because now you're behind. You were one of the people, one of the folks that got me to watch it, and you know now I'm 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 totally caught up. Now you're behind. Well, by hunkering down and being landlocked, you think I'd have time to to be watching it? You but got not three yet. episodes until tomorrow night. Then you're going to be back four episodes. Uh, maybe I will watch all four tomorrow night. Then I'll just stay up all night. It'll be worth it. Get nothing done on Monday because it'll be, be nice. worth it. 